Hey guys, Steve Welch here, Beeman Toyota, Nashville. Um, just had a really fun conversation with one of my coworkers. Asked me a question uh, that his customer had that had bought a Highlander from him uh, and said that, well, every time that I go over the speed limit, by like five miles per hour over the speed limit, it beeps at me. How do you get that to stop happening? And of course, the, the normal response that you have to that is don't drive over the speed limit, <laughs> which is a great response, right? But there are some people that don't realize that you can actually set it to alert you if you're over the speed limit, um, which is a, a definitely a good thing to know if, in, you know, in case you have that uh, lead foot issue. Um, and there are some times that you might buy a used one or something like that where it has that thing enabled. And it's not as easy to get to as it used to, but it's still something that you can shut off. It's not something you need to take to service. Um, but that beep can be a little bit much if, uh, you like to drive a little fast. So I'm going to show you how to shut it off now. This is on a Highlander, but you're going to be pretty similar on your other Toyota vehicles. So um, what I want you to see is you have this button. This is going to be pretty standard. Um, normally, you're going to be on this uh, this leaf, which is like your eco, and you can kind of like scroll through right or left, and you can kind of get through some of these things. Um, this is in a hybrid. It's still going to be very similar. Your gauges might look a little bit different, but the center screen should be very similar. All right, so I'm going to hit the down button here. Right, and when I come down, I'm gonna get into the settings mode here. All right, this is your settings mode. You see the gear here. I've got a bunch of options here. Um, I'm gonna hit the over button. So over to the right, you can go to the left too if you want to, but you're gonna come to this right here and you might not know what this is, but this is your road sign detection. You can turn that off, turn that system on and, and you know, you just hit this okay button to turn it off or turn it on, right? And most people just think that that's the on or off, right? But if you look down here, it says hold OK for detailed settings. So I'm going to hold this, this OK button for about two to three seconds. There we go. And now you see road sign assist says notification method, notification level. All right. So notification level, it'll tell you one mile per hour over. Or do you want it to be, you know, sorry, one mile per hour over. So hit, hit that. You can go three miles per hour over. You just scroll this. And you can hit this OK button and go, I want to be notified at five miles per hour over. So once you hit five over, it will notify you. Now, I have had people say, well, why don't they have a 10 over option? Because normally you can go 10 over and not have that much of an issue with a, a police officer pulling you over. That might be the case. But keep in mind, this is a safety item they're not going to give you that ability to have that setting. So set it and they don't want you going much more than that five over uh, if you want this notification on because that's normally why somebody would turn it on, right? So we're gonna come back over here, notification method. So now I'm gonna hit the okay button again, all right? Notification method, do you want it above speed limit or other? So I'm gonna hit this right here. It says above speed limit. Now, do you want no notification? Now see, this one's already set to only visual. So it's gonna give you a visual indication um, from your speed limit sign that pops up in the very center. It'll give you a visual indication that you are now over your speed limit. It'll, it'll outline it in red um, once you go over the speed limit. So it will give you that visual. But now you can also come down here and go visual and audio and then hit that okay button again. And now if you go over, it will have that same visual indication and it will also have a audio indication that you are now above the speed limit, right? And then here's how you shut it off, no. So no notification means that it's not gonna visually tell you you're over the speed limit and it's not gonna give you an audible tone, right? Well, most times it doesn't really hurt to have the only visual on because at least you look down and you, it'll kind of draw attention that you're over the speed limit, right? So now what is others? Well, let's go down there and hit okay, right? So there you go. So now you can do visual and audio and other, so that's under your other. So, um, but you can kind of, you know, see what you're doing. So this, those would be like other um, road signs, right? So, because this is all about your road signs. So if you go into your others, and you're doing visual, you're doing audio, it'll, it'll give you those signs, I believe, as a notification as well. So if you're in others, because this thing will sense, um, and I want to turn it on me here. So this will sense stop. So this is your road sign detection. It's part of your safety sense. It's on most Toyotas. It will sense stop 
yield, do not enter, and speed limit signs. Um, so the other, sh I believe, is notifying for the others, and then the other one is just for speed limit directly. So, um, but I believe that's what the others is, and, and I'm fairly certain that that's correct. So um, do you want it to notify you on those things? Do you want it not to? Do you want it to give you your visual? Do you want it not to? Or just like I showed you when you first started, shut the whole thing off if you really don't want it, but it, it is pretty beneficial to have it to be, at least be able to look down and say, what's the speed limit here? That's the last sign you passed is what it's gonna show you. And then I do always make the joke too that if you look down and the, it says do not enter, it's the last sign you passed, you're going the wrong way. So it will give you a little bit of a uh, assistance there as part of your road sign detection uh, with your Toyota Safety Sense. And like I said, there are some older versions of it that you have to set a different way, but most of your new Toyotas will be set this very similar way. So Steve Welch with Beeman Toyota, uh, if I helped your life to become less annoying or more safe, hit that thumbs up. I appreciate you guys more than you guys know. And then definitely check out, uh, I do have another channel over there too. It's Fact of the Day with Stephen Welch. I'm just I'm getting that one up and going, so uh, definitely check that out. If you can subscribe over there, that would be a great one, too. I appreciate you guys for that. Um, definitely uh, like, subscribe. Thank you guys so much. You guys have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.